What about, uh, what about goals? Are you guys using the goals component at all? We do. We actually use the goals for our business development team and we've been using those for a couple months and it's nice to hold our business development team accountable. Um, these are eight of the people that we, you know, seven of the people that we have, we've got a couple others that we don't have on this office because they're in leadership roles. And, but we also have, we don't have our Chicago office on here at this time or Arizona office at this time or LA, but we wanted to start it here with the goals for the reps here locally. And some of them are newer, some of them have been here for a while, but it's been holding them accountable when they go across, when people are saying, are we having enough business right now to keep all our people busy? And they can see who's bringing that in. And we, I like, excuse me, I love showing this stuff because it's, it's important to us. We can see who's, who's doing a great job, who's growing. I mean, if you look at um, Charlie is a, is a great one to point out. He's been with us for about eight months now. And just in the last two months, he's figured it out. And a lot of it came from the pushing of the activity that we've had him doing on the phone, the, the things that he's needed to accomplish for his manager. And he's picked up a couple new new accounts this month and he's over his goal. And yeah, I, think I was trying to, the what first is the time he's over it. I was trying to look at it. At the, I had a hard time saying, what is the goal there? It looks like he's beat it, but what is he at? 28? 22, goal. His goal was 22,500 in profit for the month. That's awesome. So he's, he's, ramped now but he's figured it out really in the past two months and now he's beating his profit goals correct and you know he's got a bigger smile over his desk than he did before so yeah. in this industry it takes a long time to get there and when the reps get there they take off from there um, yeah. obviously that happens in any sales organization you're in but I, it's, it's fun to watch them hit that the first time and have that big win and along yeah. with that if, if we was averaging 150 a day doing the extra things on the phone to make sure that he was hitting his objectives. So you can, you can paint that story of like this activity got you going. Like it wasn't for, you know, you didn't get lucky. Like it, it's a part of like the discipline around the, the leading metrics that we're talking about to, to get to hit, you know, 8K more than your profit goal. So Correct. And then next month we're adding our customer service reps with their numbers as well. We've just spent a whole month on getting them ready for them. And then next month they're getting, they're going to be on here as well with numbers that they need to achieve. Um, awesome. What are you going to measure them by? Growth. So their numbers will be up here just like this, but we have a big push on growth this year as a company. And that's why we set our company up the way that we did. It's a lot of our um, customer service reps jobs to manage those accounts on a daily basis to help them grow. And what, how are we holding them accountable for that today? And then that's going to be, they've got numbers just like the sales reps. Um, and all the numbers add up to be the same, but they all have a lot of growth goals to, to achieve. Yeah. I use, um, you know, we internally use, use goals for, you know, stretch goals. The objective yep. score is like, this is what you're supposed to do in your role X profit, but you yep. might have jacked this up to, you know, 22, which could have been a stretch goal and he hit 28. So it's an easy way to put that added layer of, you know, Hey, if you could just do a little bit more, we're going to, we're going to focus on that through this goal, put it on the TV and give away, you know, a belt, for example. But the, the X's and O's, we kind of talked about that as like, here's the minimum benchmark we want to see. A guy like Charlie sounds like he was hitting his activity early on and now he's achieving profit uh, and then some. Yeah. And it's an easy story to sell the new hires. Look, this is what happens when you put in the work. And I've always been a big believer how do we ramp that up faster? And a lot of it's the work that you put into it and how you prepare yourself. And these guys are coming in prepared, doing everything they need to do, and they're hitting their goals and their objectives.